Hello and welcome. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to tell you how to use the new Cyber Mentor uh, application uh, from InfoSec 40C. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, once you, <coughs> of course, uh, at the beginning, you need to download the application from the Google App or uh, from App Store, uh, depending on your uh, device, whether it's in Apple or uh, Android. However, once you download the application, you are going uh, to have this uh, welcoming uh, screen. So the first thing we need to know uh, to do is to make a new account. By clicking uh, create account, then we need to fill this, applica uh, this application form. So now after I uh, filled the application form, uh, I now I'm having this uh, screen that asking me for uh, the code that has been sent to my uh, email that I provided to the application. Uh, so you have, you have to keep in mind that once you or any email that you are going to use in this application, you need to have a full access to it because uh, for the first time you are going to be having an, an code that uh, used for one time and you need to provide it here in order to move on in this application uh, by the way you can use any any kind of code uh, any kind of, of email so, sorry I'm, so here I'm going to uh, get this code and I'm going to uh, use it now we are going to log in to the account that we just have created So now after logging in, for the first time you are going to choose the path, whether it's information technology or cyber security. For now I'm going to choose cyber security. Then we are going to have a survey that that based on 25 questions. And based on your responses, uh, you are going the application is going to suggest for you what kind of jobs that uh, suitable for you. So in, uh, in order to save the time of the, the, video, the video, I'm going to stop until I finish all the, uh, the application. Mm. So now coming back, uh, coming back again after finishing the questionnaire. After I finished the questionnaire, I got many jobs uh, that suitable based on my responses. For you, of course, it's going to be different. So I chose the, the path of cybersecurity analyst. Uh, however, once you, I choose the, uh, the pass, now I'm having all the skills that I need to achieve in order to be uh, able to apply for a, such a job. Uh, also, at the end, you will find here all the certificates that I need to uh, get. And, uh, and, this, and these certificates are much uh, helpful in, uh, in winning a job. So. Let's choose any, any, any one of these skills. I'm going to, for now, for testing purpose, I'm going to choose this one, data recovery. So once I click on it, I'm going to be uh, given uh, uh, the name, of, of course, of the skill, uh, and here uh, a brief about it. And here's the courses that's provided by from InfoSec that are related to this skill. Uh, I'm going to click on the link as you can see, I am now uh, redirected or moved to the uh, course. And you can, as you can see, the course uh, is free. However, some of the courses are free and some of the courses are paid. So once I uh, enroll in the course and finish it, I'm going to go back to the application and then take the quiz. Uh, I am going to. Uh, to click on this button and as you can see here now the quiz has been opened for you it's based on 25 questions uh, and you need to achieve uh, a minimum score of 70 percent in order to be able to succeed in this scale once you achieve the 70 percent 
uh, you are the, it's going to be uh, the application is going to tick on this scale uh, as done with a green button so it shows that you, you finish this scale uh, um, once you finish uh, one scale you need to move on to the other skills until you finish all of them at that time you are going to be able to apply for such a job uh, so how to use the application so uh, let's begin so the first thing that we need uh, to know before getting started uh, in how to use the application uh, that this application is uh, designed and developed uh, and I'm coming here about the jobs, the jobs that are listed in this application, the skills, the certificates, all of these things are based on these two important standards. Uh, so, for example, the first one, uh, Workforce Framework for Cybersecurity, it's a standard that uh, is being followed in US, uh, and this standard it's actually. Uh, used uh, for setting um, the requirements for any job or, uh, uh, or any certificate that related to this, this job so this is one of the advantages of using this uh, of using our applications that it's um, uh, whatever you are you'll be doing in, the, in this application it's uh, based on a, a well-known standards so that's the first thing that I wanted to mention. Now we'll get back and uh, show you how to use application. So the first thing, once you fill the questionnaire, you are going to get a list of jobs. You are going to choose uh, the job that uh, suitable uh, for you or the one that you are planning to apply for it in the future. Uh, once you choose the job, it's going to be written here then it's going to be mentioned here the progress what you did in your progress uh, all the skills that are needed in order to uh, be ready to apply for a such job uh, besides the certificates that are needed for this job so for now uh, we will as a demo we will be using the cyber security analyst as I, as I mentioned before, you are going to choose any skill like this one, data recovery. Uh, as you can see now, the exam is not, I didn't do the exam because I still I didn't attend the courses, so uh, it's written here a zero. No, not started the exam yet. Uh, you can find here a, a brief about the skill and the courses. <clears throat> the courses are, are linked to this uh, skill. Once you click on the link, it's going to take you into to the, cor the course. As you can see, this one is free. Uh, and as I mentioned before, some of the courses are free and some are paid. However, after you finish the course, you are going to take the exam. I will take the exam by clicking on this button, Evaluate. Uh, then the, the questionnaire or the exam is going to be open for this specific scan. However, after you finish, the exam and uh, and by the way you need to get at least 70 percent of the questions right in order to pass the exam for any skill so for you i did, uh, I did uh, um, this skill information security as you can as you can see here my score is 100 so i pass the quiz here the uh, here the courses uh, that are related to this skill beside i can post uh, will make a small uh, post on LinkedIn to show my uh, my colleagues that uh, hey guys I I did a great work I um, I did uh, finish a skill in, in the new application cyber mentor and I am one step uh, ahead uh, to achieve my goal and apply for a job so uh, after you finish the skill, it's going to be ticked as done with a green button. Also, in the progress, as you can see, it's now 2%. Why? Because for now, I only finished one skill. 
so that's how to uh, use the skill how to take the quizzes that are related to each skill how to up um, uh, how it's, the application is working so that's the first part let's move on to the second part uh, if you went, uh, went here you are going to see here and other jobs that you may be eager that to apply for it for um, um, for example uh, if you went here there are these jobs this here the all the jobs that also sit will show you in order to apply for it for example I choose cyber cyber cybersecurity analyst but uh, I may uh, change my mind and uh, and choose this, this one GRC governance risk compliance I can upload click the button apply and apply for it also uh, from time to time we are uh, the application is going to be updated with interview questions and you will find here all the interview questions you can answer them and this uh, is going to help you because it's like it's like a, a mock interview um, it's like a simulation of um, what sort of questions that you might be asked on a real interview this the third uh, category it's certificates it's related to all certificates that uh, are related to the job that you choose <clears throat> for example here you can find here uh, security plus uh, CISSP uh, so here in case if you want um, if you want to change the job you can do it uh, easily from uh, this uh, menu uh, also in case if you have any query if you have any questions that you want uh, even if you have any issues that you are technical issues that you are facing while using this application you can click on this button and write uh, your inquiry <coughs> your question you write here the title right here the description then you click the bottom sent and uh, within a uh, maximum a couple of days one of the infosec for uh, 40c would be more than happy to help you in your issue or your problem uh, also you will find here the notification in uh, from time to time we uh, since infosec it's a company that um, provide training for uh, its students uh, so we mentioned here in the notification uh, some related uh, things related to a webinar, uh, also some or even uh, some new threat that you need to be aware of. Them. So it's going to be mentioned here in, in the notification. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's it's good to uh, keep an eye on it from time to time. Lastly, here it's the, your profile. Once you do the profile, uh, we can uh, uh, play with it. You can change any kind of settings in the, your profile. For example, you can change the language uh, from Arabic to English or from the vice versa. You can hear the notification. You, you might be uh, not interested in having a notification, so you can uh, simply turn it on or off from here. You can log out, uh, you, you can go here and edit your profile, such as changing your name, uh, change the password, uh, or from here, you can change uh, your career. For example, in case if you want uh, to change uh, your career, uh, you need, for example, if you choose uh, at the beginning a job, a cyber security analyst, but you find them you are more interested uh, for a something that related to governance, so you will you want to apply for some job like uh, GR uh, GRC consultant. Uh, you can simply click on this button, then you are going to reset all uh, all your progress, of course, on your uh, current job, and start over again by taking a questionnaire and choose an, a new job. So, uh, um, so um, as um, I said before, this video was intended uh, to show you how to use the uh, application, um, and that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.